are you new to oil paint and not really sure what the fat or lean rule is really all about? Well, if this is the case, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how the fat or lean rule works and why it's important to follow it if you're painting in layers. Hello and welcome to my channel. If we haven't already met, my name is Marie Blom and I'm a Norwegian professional fine artist and digital course creator. So in this video, I am going to walk you through the fad over lean rule of oil paint. So what is it first and foremost and how do you follow it and also why do we really need it? So first of all, what is the fad over lean rule? Well, the fad over lean rule is actually very simple. All it really means is that when you paint with oil paint, especially if you paint in layers, you want to start with thinner, leaner layers of paint and build your way gradually up with thicker, more oily layers of paint. So how would you follow the fat over lean rule in a painting? Well, the way you would follow the fat over lean rule is that in the very first layers of your painting, you would use number one, a very thin layer of paint or a thinner layer of paint. So for example, if you're painting an underpainting, you would paint that underpainting with a slightly thinner layer. You wouldn't, you know, pile on the paint and use loads and loads and loads of paint, unless of course you wanted to create a bunch of texture in the very first layer of your painting that you would build on top of later. But that's a whole different story. So let me keep it simple. <laughs> so the way you would start is that you would start with a thin layer of paint. And then if you wanted to thin out the paint, if you wanted to make your paint in this first stage of the painting, let's say in an underpainting, even more fluid and flexible, then you would use a thinner. Now, the thinner that I would recommend, it is Senle Years Green for Oil Thinner. This is a thinner that is really, really great to use, especially if you are concerned with painting non-toxic, because this is a completely 100% non-toxic thinner, and it really thins out the paint and it speeds up the drying time of the paint as well. So it's really, really great to use in those first layers. Traditional options would be, for example, turpentine or mineral spirits. Now these thinners are, of course, toxic and they can smell quite a bit. Even if you get like odorless mineral spirits or odorless turpentine, my experience is that it still smells quite a bit, but I am quite sensitive to smells. Um, and in my experience also, one of the reasons why I stopped using it was because I actually started to get a little bit dizzy from those thinners and whenever I introduced that or used that in my studio space, even though I had really, really good ventilation, I would still get quite dizzy. So I removed them completely from my painting practice. And now I, I mainly, nine times out of 10, I use Sunly Years Green for Oil Thinner. So I would really, really recommend that, that one. So after you're done with the very first layer of your painting and you move on to the later layers of your painting, so the second, third, fourth, depending on how many layers you are planning to paint on your painting, that of course will vary, vary from person to person and from project to project. But regardless of that, regardless of how many layers you choose to apply later on, then you want to now move on to a medium that is a little bit more oily. So if now in the later stages of your painting or in the middle stages of your painting, you want to make your paint a little bit more fluid or flexible, then you want to stick to mediums that are a little bit more oily. You can also just use pure linseed oil as a medium for this. You can just, you know, add on, I do this sometimes, I just add one or two drops of linseed oil in my paint and I mix it in with the paint and that will really make the paint more pliable and more flexible as well. You also want to make sure that in these later stages you use the paint a little bit more thickly. So you don't add on very thin oily layers of paint in these later stages. If 
you want to add on paint a little bit thinner in these later stages, then it's really, really important that you wait until the oil painting is thoroughly dry before you apply thinner layers of paint on top of a thicker layer of paint. Okay, so finally, let me tell you why we're following the fatter lean rule in oil paint. The reason why we are following the fatter lean rule in oil paint is because when paint dries, it moves. So if the underlying layers of your painting are still wet and they're still moving, the top layers of your painting is dry and they are not flexible enough to move with those underlying layers of paint, what can happen is that these top layers of paint can crack. So you don't want that. You want the, your uh, painting to have the best chance of aging well and a lot of the time if you see paintings that are really cracked and you know that are uh, not quote unquote like that haven't really aged well then this can witness or this can be the result of an unhealthy painting process so that's it that is really the reason why we are following the fat overlean rule in the first place so to follow the fat overlean rule start with thinner leaner layers of paint and then work your way up towards fatter more oily layers of paint this way the underlying layers of paint they get a chance to dry before the top layers and you'll have a healthy painting process that is going to result in a painting that is going to stand the test of time I'm a lot better. Okay, so I really, really hope you found this information about the Fatter Lean Rule helpful. If you have any questions about the Fatter Lean Rule or how to really work with it, then you can always write me a comment below this video and I will get back to you. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, I invite you to hit that subscribe button below this video. It's really going to help me out. And uh, I post videos every single week about oil painting information, inspiration, tips and advice. So if this is something you're interested in, then definitely hit that subscribe button and the small bell icon so you always know when I'm posting a new video. Okay, I wish you lots of inspiration and happy painting. Bye!